Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing great. I'm Manohar and welcome back to our SFT webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the steps on how to add guest user account in Microsoft Entra ID. Microsoft Entra ID includes collaboration capabilities that allow your organization to work securely with business partners and guest. In your tenant you can use b2b collaboration to share your company's applications and services with guest while maintaining control over your own corporate data a guest user account allows external identity provider individuals to access specific resources within an organization without being full members this way businesses can securely share resources with those outside the organization while maintaining control and data integrity a simple invitation and redemption process let partners use their own credentials to access your company's resources the guest account setup does not require adding a microsoft work or personal account to an existing microsoft entra id You don't have to configure anything special to use Microsoft Entra B2B and external collaboration settings. They are on by default. In this video, we want to add Microsoft Entra B2B collaboration user account using the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Make sure your organization's external collaboration settings are configured such that you are allowed to invite guest. By default, all users and admins can invite guest. but sometime your organization's external collaboration policies might be configured to prevent certain types of users or admins from inviting guest let's find out the current external collaboration policies status for that we need to access and log in to the microsoft entra admin center you can access microsoft entra admin center using the url entra.microsoft.com in this video we logged in to the microsoft entra admin center using the global administrator account you can also use guest inviter role or a user administrator to perform the steps outlined in this video just a reminder we are using the microsoft entra id free subscription under identity section expand external identities now click on external collaboration settings we can confirm that external collaboration settings are set to default which is enabled Let's start the process to add guest user to the Microsoft Entra ID tenant. Expand users and click on all users. Click on new user and select invite external user. In this example, we are inviting the guest to our tenant using their email address. We need to provide the email address for the guest user we are inviting. Next, provide the guest user's display name. With the send invite message checkbox selected, we can include a custom invitation message and CC recipient. In this example, I'm not going to specify CC recipient address. Clicking next will take you to the properties page. Here we can fill in other details including identity information, job information, contact information, etc. Let me add first name and last name. Click next. On the assignment step we can add the user to a group or add a role during the invite process at the moment we are not going for the assignments click next to continue on the review plus invite screen we can verify the information before sending the invitation review the details and select the invite button if everything looks good an email invitation is automatically sent to the user After you send the invitation the user account is automatically added to the directory as a guest. We can invite guest users to the directory to a group or to an application. After we invite a user through any of these methods the invited user's account is added to Microsoft Entra ID with a user type of guest. The guest user must then redeem their invitation to access resources. Keep in mind an invitation of a user doesn't expire. We can see a guest user's display name Ajay Patel and user type is guest. Click on our guest user's display name to open guest user account properties page. From properties page, we can check the status of the invitation from the user's details. If you haven't redeemed their invitation, you can resend the invitation details. 
In our example, check the invitation status. It is not accepted yet. Let's accept the invitation to finish adding the guest user to our Microsoft Android ID tenant. Sign in to your test guest user's email account. I have already opened the user's email account. In inbox, open the email from Microsoft Invitations on behalf of MSFT Webcast. If you have added custom invitation message, that message will be listed here. To accept the invitation, select Accept Invitation. A permission requested by page opens in New tab. Select Accept. The My Apps page opens. Because we haven't assigned any apps to this guest user, you will see the message there are no apps to show. In a real life scenario, you would add the guest user to an app so the app would appear here. Keep in mind that we have used Microsoft account to add Microsoft Android ID guest user account. So using the same steps, you can also invite guest user with Gmail account. Let's go back to Microsoft Android Admin Center. Click on Refresh. Now again check the B2B invitation status. This time it is accepted. This means the guest user is successfully added to the Microsoft Android ID tenant. To assign permissions to the resources, we can now add this guest user to our existing groups after the user was invited. That's it for today's video on how to add guest user account in Microsoft Android ID tenant. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any of the steps, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.